Hi and welcome back to Finders Be Position Seekers and this week it's a little bit spooky, a little bit scary and it's a little bit fake as well but we'll show you why in a minute. Where are we? Dracula's Castle. Which is also known as Bran Castle. Yes and we are right at the base of that at the moment and it's huge but this I think this is really interesting as well this cross that's at the base now this is from 1751 um, and it's got the coat of arms I think it's Wallachia or Moldavia coat of arms on it I'm, I'm sure that's what it were when I was reading it earlier on and basically it was used there to sort of represent the, the families coming together right making our way up the stairs inside now does that say is that say 1622 or is it j6 double z i can't quite work it out but it's a cn as well at the bottom doesn't it yeah it's either some ancient graffiti or it means something but i'd like to know it's what all that, to decipher all that isn't it? it is it all looks like one word it's the writing's very almost old english type isn't it but obviously not english pro patri What's that at the bottom? Oh, it's like that's Latin, isn't it? Is it Petrians? Not sure. Can't make it out at the bottom. Anyway, I can see you shivering, study here. So I'm sick of steps. <laughs> There's quite a few in there. Let's get up them. Right, so we are going to sound a little bit muffled in here because we've got to wear our masks still in Europe. Um, in the UK, we, we can get away with it, but not over here. So, but also thank you very much to, it's Claire, isn't it? Claire that sent these to Claire, us. Claire H. Yeah, so thank you very much. These have been really, really useful while we've been here. You like a good pair of knockers, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a bum man, but I prefer, yeah. Look, man, if good Look at them. They're beastie then. Make a right booming noise, yeah, they yeah. would. Yeah, they brass, aren't they? Yeah. Right, so this is the guards room. This is where they would have, at the top of, the big hill, which is your only way in and out of this place. Yeah. This is where your big beefy guards would be sat around that fire, eating the chicken and things. Hog roast. Yeah, hog roast and, and one thing or another. And probably not doing a great deal for the majority. But then when people came and invaded, they'd be like, oi, fuck off. Kick off big time. Yeah. With a big spiky swords and big spiky. Big, big spiky. Spiky. Oh, Spears. Is it a spear? I know what you mean. Those ones with like the... They're like an, an axe head on the end, but a big spike. Yeah. Is that right? I, I don't know. Like, is that from a different era? Not sure. But look at this, look at this door. That's old and strong, isn't it? They're not... This is one thing about these people, though. They're not very big, are they? They're tiny. They are really tiny. Like this, I can literally just fit under. And when you're thinking about like coming through a door, you've usually got a foot above you. And your, oh, are you on your toes there? I'm on my toes, but yeah. yeah. I've got a good four inch. Yeah, but it's, it was just touching my hair yeah, as I went through. Six foot one, no? Six foot yeah, probably six foot one. We've just been saying this is really out of our comfort zone. We're not used to filming places where there's tourists and other people. We used to just, us. Kind of avoid people, aren't we? Yeah, exactly, and quiet. But we just thought it was the perfect opportunity to show you. People that might never get to experience it and see it themselves, just show them round because they're used to our style of doing things and yeah. how we talk about stuff. And it's nice to see something a bit different and a bit less corroded than falling down. <laughs> exactly, falling exactly. Oh, look, another one of these big stone doors. Look at that. Look at the size of that. I'm doing it. God. That must have been that I know. You ran. <laughs> you imagine lurch, can't you? Yeah, you can. Adam's family. It's it's really like in the middle of here, look. Look at this this bit here. The iconic tower. And then this is just something straight out of medieval times. You can imagine them sitting round the because there's a, a well there, look. I can imagine them sitting around that well with the big things of, is it a carafe of wine? I don't know whether they have carafes of wine then, they've got big massive jugs, but is that a carafe in it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I expect a carafe like 
up with just a neck, just a single thing without a handle. But even still, they could have any size jug of wine it's a then. jug of wine. Jesus Christ, Andrew. I know. But it's, because they come from a lot of them. It's hard to explain because Romanians are, have got the name from Rome. Romulus and Remus and all yeah. that. But they're not necessarily all Romans because Vlad the Impaler was well before. You know I mean, what they weren't affected by that. So it's a bit of a funny, funny place. I'm, this mask's doing my head in. I don't know, I have to breathe. It's over one of my eyes. It's in fact, look. <laughs> I don't know what's happening now. It's in my eye, in my mouth. I can't be doing with it, especially when I'm talking. What was that? It looked like a leaf on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, so it is, it's like a, a leaf handle. You're comfortable. Yeah, I don't know though, if you put your hand round it, it yeah. it's not too bad. Quite ergo, ergonomically made. Is that, that right word? <laughs> yeah, I suppose so, yeah. But yeah, I think we've got obsessed with one handle a little bit too I much. I don't like the handle. <laughs> Let's get up these stairs. That's it, we walk around these buildings looking for features normally, don't we? And we're like, we find an handle like that, and we're like, oh, look at this, it's amazing. In here, there's so many gonna, of them. There's going to be loads of stuff in here. Yeah, we're just going to get obsessed with everything. Anyway, get going. Why are you walking like you've shit your pants? There's more stairs. <laughs> Why are you walking funny? Because, yeah, I've been struggling walking all day. I feel like I've shit myself. <laughs> what do you mean? Why would you shit yourself? Why are you banging in on this one as well? Oh, is this low as well? Uh -huh. Good point. Oh, this one's not quite... <laughs> my hair flat, it flattens my hair down. But... Right, so I'm looking here. Right. These rooms are quite small though. Aren't they? They are, aren't they? I've got a nice feeling to them. Look at the little... bench seat things in the window though. We're looking at the knives. One, two daggers from Archduke Dominic Habsburg's private collection. They're related to the UK royal family. Is that the guys from downstairs? They from weren't the downstairs. No. Oh, yeah, Hasburg family is, yeah. is those on that picture you were looking at. Yeah, yeah but Hasburg's, I think, are distant re related through Queen Victoria, if I remember rightly. That's a weapon. Look at that. Big chest. Is it brass on it? Bra I like it, isn't it? Brass studs. It weighs a ton. <laughs> Do you reckon there's uh, like, because I know he was the impaler and all that and it was like blood, he was bloodthirsty, but how did that end up with him being Dracula? I know it was Bram Stoker, weren't it? That... It's just dramatised, I think, isn't it, for... Well, he, Bram Stoker, who'd never ever visited this place, based this castle on, yeah. on it. And he also based Dracula on Vlad the Impaler. But really, neither of them are anything to do with it. Do you know what Dracula I mean? Dracula's more from Whitby, isn't it? Well, yeah, exactly. It's all over. Right, let's have a look in here. Oh, God. Look at them little men. Oh, is that <laughs> what you're doing, being him? Is he carrying, is it because he's carrying stuff on his head? Yeah, that's, why are we looking at... Well, big I don't know, that's, that's poorly managed. Look at this there. I'd love to spend some time in here though, like with nobody else about. Oh, it'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. I wondered about at night. Yeah. I wondered if we could see or hear. The first people that ruled round here were the um, Knights Templar. Were they? Yeah, they and the, the um, Crusaders. And that's just made me think about it through the, through here, look. I really find Knights Templar really interesting and all that, don't you? They seem a bit secretive, don't they? Yeah, definitely. But I, I don't know loads about them, but I would like to. But I think that's the thing, you don't know loads about them because you can't know loads about them. It's a bit like so. the Masons, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I think that's basically what a lot of these, I want to say cults, they're not cults, but they've based it on over years, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, look at all the other stuff in here. 
Another one of those little fires. I like them. They're like little egg fire. That's what it makes me makes me think of an egg. That dome bit over the top. What do you mean an egg fire? Why why didn't you understand what I meant? I, I didn't understand what you meant until I looked and saw the shape of that. <laughs> but, oh yeah, look. Actually, it was the the Teutonic Knights. But it's all based around the same thing, isn't it? They're all crusading Crusade. across to Israel and all that. Anyway, look at these little stairs. How good does this look up here? I think we need to go back the other way though, because yeah. I think we've missed a few bits off. Right, so I read about this. There's two little do hidden doors where one of the people that ruled this castle used to keep his children. Uh, he used to lock them in there and then he used to get them out and like abuse them. And the first one is this door here. And it was, he, he'd fallen in love with a girl from the village and he went and took her and put her in the cupboard. And he, she had a, a little baby sister that was a tiny baby and put her in this one on the wall. <laughs> you believed me then, didn't oh, you? Oh, oh. Where did you get all this from? <laughs> just making you, I just oh, thought I'd see if I could confuse you, but. <laughs> I'm getting into that then. <laughs> What? Children in cupboards? It's like Princess in the Tower, isn't it? I thought you were going to say things like Prince Andrew. <laughs> no, not even going to go there. I thought, I literally thought it would be something like Princess in the Tower. Yeah, no, it's and not at all. History. <laughs> it's I'm, like... I'm getting engrossed then, you spoiled it. <laughs> what, going from the, the girl from the village to the baby in the cupboards? Tell me when you went to that, I thought it was going to be on. <laughs> do you really think there's going to be a little baby sat in there for all day? Well, you just never know in here, do you? <laughs> what have we got in here? Oh, it's like... Oh, I think this is the the mother of the current people in it, the royal family. Oh, it smells busty. Isn't that the mother, that bust? The one that looked like a film star that yeah. we were talking about? I think so. Look at this. Have you seen this door? Fantastic. It's metal, it's not even wood. No. Yeah. Also, look. What is this? 6Z. Something 6Z. They, is that, is that? I don't know if they just use different numerals that mean other things. Or it's a mix between, because they're a bit of a, a mishmash country, aren't they? What's that? K93. Isn't that a film? K9. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the sequel. That's, yeah, K9 and 3. <laughs> they missed two out. They thought, sorry. I don't like this door. I do. Look at that big back chair as well there. Looks uncomfortable to sit on that. Because it's really ridged. Why would it be so high backed? I don't know. Oh, and then I can't really show you, but you've got Mary over on that. Little table over there. Right, let's get up those secret stairs. Right. This is spooky, isn't it? It is. And you know what? We're going up spooky stairs and we've got no torch. When does that ever happen? I don't know. Uh, we've got no... Oh, we are lit a little bit. I know we're lit. Oh, shit, I know. What, <laughs> what are you shitting hell at? Come on, look at this. Oh, this is really Look at this. Now this is, this is the sort of thing you'd expect to see in Dracula's castle, isn't it? It's a bit like a catacombs as well, isn't it? It is. How steep are these steps? Well, how handy uneven. <laughs> it's really hard work. Now they've got an old age pension they're walking up here. <laughs> with mobility difficulties. I just feel like I'm gonna fall backwards because I can't even hold on to anything. I feel like it's closing in on me. It's getting thinner. Not exactly wide, is it? No, and I am. Oh, this is mad. Oh, what's this bit for? Why is there a drop? That seems strange, doesn't it? Are you out of breath? Yeah, I am. That were really steep. Look at this. Look down there. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon 
for all the latest updates. Right, talking about, God, we're, we're both out of breath, proper out of breath. Talk about low doors. This one certainly is. So that makes it, what? Five, five, five. five. yeah. Go on then, get in. Wow, is this like a massive banqueting hall? Oh, imagine it there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah, but there's influences from all over. Because you know, when you think of the Romans, yeah. you think, oh, they're from Italy. The Romans were everybody. Pardon? The majority of the Romans that were in the UK were French and Belgian and stuff. They were the Roman army, but they'd never even been to Rome. That's weird. So, it's, well, think about the size of the army though. It was massive. Mm. So, look, yeah. look at this. Imagine sitting in here, a little snug. Is that next to fire? I don't know what this bit would be. Oh, would it be like smoke coming out of it? Because it's like, oh, little, yeah, like flavoured, not flavoured, but scented. scented. Yeah, exactly. Let's see what we can see out of these windows. So like I was saying, uh, out of the windows, you can see back down towards Brass Off where we were earlier on today. But I'd love to get out on this balcony, but unfortunately you can't because stupid people like me end up hanging your legs over it and things like that. Just saying this in this corner, I think, is like a little pizza oven, or it has been at some point. Because it's, it's been blocked. It's not bread up. Yeah, it's been blocked in, but it's got all the, the bits down here to put the, the fire in. I think that's what it is. Is that what you would say? That's more of a bread oven, yeah, but it just, I don't know, it just looks wrong. What do you mean it looks wrong? Um, to put the coals in, don't look a big enough gap. Mm, I don't know what you mean, but there's multiple holes. There's like one, two, three, four, five. Well, a big one at the oh yeah, so you put your, your fire goes in there, and this is just to clean stuff out, I think. Just to rake it out? I think so, yeah. I need a good raking out, I think. You definitely need a good raking out. <laughs> to be honest with you, you're, you're having fire. Well, we've been, been, been away. Here. I think it's it's better food, that's what it is, rather than eating crap at home. Um, yeah. So, right. Be a lot of flatulence. Right, look at this for a view. How how good is that? Why are you stealing my phone? I'm just sort it out. You just that. thought you'd pick it up and just take it, did you? I'm a tea leaf. Yeah, you can see that. Like yeah. tea bag. <laughs> you don't bleed in tea bagging me, you dirty old man. <laughs> look at this though. The little well in the middle. People have been throwing coins from up there in it. And then you can see right off into the mountains, the Carpathian Mountains. But look at this place. How spooky would this little bit here be at night, all alone? The whole place would be spooky. Yeah, exactly. Wouldn't it? It really, really would. But fantastic place. Anyway. Especially if you heard bells ringing, it would like that. Oh, yeah. And nobody else ringing them. They're just... There's nobody else here, yeah? Yeah, exactly. It goes up a lot higher than I expected it to, this. It goes up another level. Is it raining? No. I think you're lying. It is raining. It's not raining. Are you sure? Positive. You're positive it's not raining. Like, how much are we having on it? Right, it's fitting. It's raining. What a liar. Oh, it's not raining. I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't you hear couldn't anything. hear it? How much can you hear rain normally? What? I'm going to smack you in the head. Yeah, so we're a bit further around now. Um, apparently there's loads of little Right up on the tops of the hills, there's like watch areas, you know, like for invading armies and things like that, yeah. which are pretty cool, similar to these, I'm, I'm guessing. But yeah, they're all dotted all round. But there's some really big hills, and like this castle's massive. And if you look up behind here, you can still see the top of that. And I won't class it as a mountain. No, it's not big enough for a mountain, but it's a big hill, isn't it? Won't have to walk up here. 
it that way. No, neither would I. Better flocking round the stairs. Hey, what did we do earlier on? We, when we were in Brasov. Oh. We, we felt so tired, we decided to get an, get Uber, an Uber up an hill just to back to our car. How lazy are we? Just not lazy, just knackered. <laughs> we've, we've, worn, lazy. we've worn ourselves out already and we're only on what, day three, day four, something like that. Something like that, yeah. So it's catching up on us. Anyway. Rain is cold as well. <sighs> well, it doesn't exist, apparently. So get over it and get on. Shut up, Tid. <laughs> <laughs> I've just noticed something. Well, I lied. Andy just noticed something. Look at these here. Now these will have lifted up so you could drop stuff on the invaded army down there. And I wouldn't have liked to have got boiling oil on my bonds from, from this height. Be, will it be boiling oil? Boiling not, oil. Not did that go in your eye then? Did you get a water yeah, droplet in your eye? <laughs> or just underneath, yeah. Yeah, it'd be boiling oil, it'd be rocks and stones, it'd be piss and shit. Piss and shit, yeah. It'd be all sorts of stuff. They'd do all sorts to keep you away. Uh, but the local legend like forget dracula forget all the stuff that we know about this place yeah the local legend uh, kept all the locals away from this place because apparently there was demons in the cellar um that used to roam the cellar and if you came in on the bottom level then you would be sort of consumed by them so i'm presuming that's maybe where the Dracula in the basement in his coffin came from. I don't know. Possibly. Not sure. So, and also there was a, a winged donkey that used to be on the top level. Oh, I, I can't, I couldn't keep a straight face this time. That's a lie. The other big You've been watching too much Shrek. <laughs> Come on anyway, let's get, let's get in here. Now, one concern I have got is, if there is vampires about, they're gonna smell me from a mile off because I've got fresh blood on my arms. And that was nice of that lady to turn the lights off for us. Make it nice and dark in here. It's, it's, on it. it's on about. Look. Jesus. What's he called now? Centaur. Yeah, but in that Greek mythology. Yeah. So why would Centaur, Centaur I suppose, to be fair, we're not, I suppose we're not that far from Greece, are we? Are we? I can't think. Fair distance. I don't know, I'm not sure. So the Black Sea goes Black sea, over to... Um, it goes on, well, Greece is Mediterranean, isn't it? I mm, suppose so, but I reckon they used to sail all around here anyway, because yeah. the Greeks got all over. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? And who are these? Oh, these are the Ulili, apparently. Ulili? The... <laughs> I don't know. Feminine mythical creatures. They don't look creatures like creatures to me, do you? No, they just... To me, to right, they look like they're on spice. Smacked off the tits. Smacked off the tits, yeah. <laughs> and then you've got the Grim Reaper as well. Like so there's, there's loads and loads of bits of stories all mingled together in this place, I think. With where's the gummies coming to it? Oh yeah, I didn't see him. Oh, the bloody centaur's going mental over there. Trying to get in, old bitch, don't want to go around. Oh, I'm him. That's Bailiff. <laughs> she hasn't paid her rent. She hasn't paid rent on play. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, as well, around here, looking at this, zombies are a thing, and they're called Strigoi. And to be fair, from what I've seen, it looks like a, you in a morning. I, look. This is you, first thing in the morning, when, you, when you're getting out of bed, pulling yourself up, stretching that old neck. Got the same teeth as me. <laughs> it has. And then look, like, I ain't got my coffee yet. <laughs> I, I'm feeling hungry, but my legs and my back are killing me. And then all of a sudden, it's like... Got the same, like, dints on me head. Yeah. Oh, Matt's there. He might have got me coffee. Oh shit, Matt's drunk me coffee. I'm getting pissed off now. <laughs> Go and get me some more fucking coffee. It's definitely you. Alright, we seem to have come into a bedroom. What is that in there? It's like a, is it a scepter? A scepter, yeah. That's really good. 
and the bed with the barley twist. Oh my God, what is that? What is that in the corner? Hot cold in it as well. Yeah, it's like some sort of, I don't know what you would cook in it. Ceramic. It's ceramic, isn't it? But Unless it's some sort of like heat sort of thing, put hot coals in it just to radiate heat, keep the room warm, because it's not a fireplace. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it could be. Right, moving into here, Andy was pretty much right, I think, because that's, that's ceramic, the same, with a big fire underneath. So it's like a mix of the two things that we've just we've already seen in here together. They've got a big fire opening like that other one, have they? Well no, they are not But it may have a slightly different purpose yeah. or be from a different time period, I don't know. But I do like it in here. I like the wood and, and stuff. I just do you know what I hate though? I, I know it's for its own good and it's for tourist reasons and stuff. I just hate not being able to go and look at things properly Top because things. Yeah. And I know it's so you don't like wear away, like someone going up and rubbing that that nose on that and it gets worn away. I get it. But that's why I love what we do. Yeah. Because we get to see the things that other people just don't get to see. So And it would be a shame if you scratched it, though, wouldn't it? Oh it would, yeah, exactly. Because you'd always get some kid that like didn't really want to come. His mum and dad have made him come and they've he's like put his name on it or something. Yeah. Billy was here. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be more like Vlad. So yeah, the bed through there was King Ferdinand's bed. And this guy here is King Ferdinand. But look at these guys around him and look at the clothes they're wearing. Look at Tommy Tucker over here and look at them all in the little fur coats. Look a bit like Mafia, don't they? Yeah, they do. But do you remember when we were in Italy, we found a picture that was very similar to that in an ab abandoned farmhouse. Yeah. And it turned out that it was, um, was it Mussolini? Mussolini? In his younger days, before he became, like, we were in charge. And someone said it's an original photo and were worth an absolute fortune. So... It'd be wrecked now, that. It will, because that farmhouse was falling down round, round us, weren't it? Damaged. Exactly. It's a shame. Right, keep going. Now, when you were talking about things like this earlier on, still can't think of name room, but... Look at these, that's a, that's a, is that a mace, mace, that one? That's a, I wanna say Starburst. What, sweet? No, I'm sure it's called like, I can't remember what that one's called, but I'm sure the, the bit on the end is called like a Starburst or a Star something, but no, I can't no. remember. But that it's sword, it's yeah. It's about five foot long. Imagine wielding that. Like it's got the guards at both sides. So you'd be lifting your, lifting it with both hands. Yeah. But imagine that, imagine the power. It'd kill your arms, you'd have to be massive to do it. But then what's that one? That's someone from Anne Summers, is that? <laughs> right, anyone that's not from the UK, Anne Summers is it like a sex shop. sexy, it's not a sex shop. It's a lingerie shop that does adult toys. And that's one of them. <laughs> does look a bit like, a bit painful though. That's a, a battle axe, isn't it? I'm waiting for it. Oh, She's at home, yeah, we know. <laughs> but then, look at, oh, weren't they fight, that, that is like the Turks, isn't it, that? Is it the Ottoman army? That's what the Turks were called before, isn't it, the Ottoman army? What, they had loads of boxes running around, what, you just put blankets in? <sighs> Not that sort of Ottoman. But I'm sure that's the sort of thing that they wore with the the stars on the reds and the jewels and things like that. Oh, that's what you meant. That's it, yeah. That thing there. What's this called? Tell us, because we're not 100% sure. I'm not sure whether that's for fighting purpose. I just think it's for... Yeah, not, not ceremonial, but... It is for ceremonial, but it's also... For fighting. For fighting as well if needed, but yeah. yeah. It's basically like a bayonet, isn't it? Yeah. Bayonet stroke, axe stroke. Pink Gouger, stroke. poker, whatever. And then you've got sort of more knight based stuff as well. But yeah, imagine getting that in whacked in your head. It's gonna do some did one of them women fart down there then? Hey, Don't know. Go. Could have been. And that, right, you're telling me you can see out of that? Well, that bit 
the split. Has he got? He's got actual eyes as well. Yeah, look, his eyes aren't even lined up with the hole. That'd be your vision in that'd be awful. You couldn't see people coming from side here. Like peripheral yeah, vision and yeah, everything. Yeah, like blinking, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. And don't get me wrong, it's good because it stops your head getting bashed in. But still. But I want to see who's bashing me, head in. Exactly. Right, so I've just been thinking, right, we're on the same level as the banqueting hall. Okay. What do you do in a banqueting hall? Eat lots of food. And what else? Drink lots of beer. And when you've drunk lots of beer, how do you act? Um, like an idiot. Yeah, and <laughs> fall over. And fall over lots. Right, stand up, lean forward. No, I don't mean bang your head. <laughs> Idiot. I mean, how easy is it to fall over the edge of here? Yeah. How many people have... Saying that, the small people. Well, yeah, true. <laughs> the shoulders probably only come to the... <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, it feels very easy to just topple, topple over and there. fall straight down there. And it is a drop. You would smash your head in you and be dead. Floor, yeah, well, you'd probably... You might go through that roof. But even so, if you fall off here... You're straight onto a solid stone floor and you're dead. And like I said. Oh, yeah, I'd not noticed that. Not like a normal square like we've seen. No. But if it was me, I'd be doing things like dangling legs over and, and things like that. And I can imagine like Romeo and Juliet almost being set something like this in this sort of setting do you know what i mean that yeah. sort of era william shakespeare plays and stuff medieval times in it yeah. so anyway let's crack on right so just on the side of here we've noticed there's a load of writing now it's not that old well it is old it's 300 years old because it says at the bottom there anno 1725 so in like four years no, yeah, four years time, it's gonna be 300 years old, that little bit. Yeah. So, but I think a lot of restoration was done to this place in the 1700s, but it's old, like the building originally is a lot, lot older. It's been still surviving well, haven't it? When you oh, think no. about it. 300 years is, is some, some time, isn't it, really? Yeah. Anyway, I think they're trying to kick us out of this place. Because if you look down here, there's glasses and everything and they keep washing the floor wherever we've walked and they've been putting tables up and stuff so what's they, happening? i don't i'd love to it'd be great for like a wedding reception or or anything like that wouldn't it, it really a party would be good, or, it? yeah exactly Get married here. yeah anyway to hold a banquet or anything like that. Well, there was that with all those big tables. There were big tables in there, though. Oh, there were five. Were there? Yeah, they were bringing some in, don't forget, as well. Yeah, they are bringing ones on stands, weren't they? Yeah. Either way, it might be a small do. Yeah. But it still would, it would be nice, wouldn't it? It'd be really nice. Right, I'm being really naughty because we're supposed to have paid to come in this bit and we've just run it. But I just thought I'd quickly show you. Imagine that as a form of torture. And that, that's not torture, that's just death. You get in there and you're dead. Like the stocks we have in the UK and that, that's just normal. But imagine being put to death by being in one of these things. It's crazy. Anyway, I only rushed in quickly to show you because I weren't supposed to come in, but I don't care. Right, so we finally got down to the wishing well. Well, it's just a well. Just a well, yeah, I don't it's think it's a wishing well, is it? Well, every well's a wishing well, but how disappointing is this? Filled it up. It looks like, yeah, it's concrete, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, it looks like stone as well. I'm not sure, but either way, you can't get in it. But it is a good place, isn't it? And do you know what I've seen? Something that I really want to do, but I'm going to get in trouble for doing if I do it. Have you seen it? Have you seen That's it? Gong. Gong. Really want to do it. But I feel like I'm going to get in big, big trouble because they keep telling us off for stuff. So. What? That 
snap my leg a bit higher than what I thought it was going to be. Right. Andy, are you ready to run? I'm just going to walk. You're going to walk? I'm going to walk out now. That was the worst hit ever. You need a... I couldn't reach it. What call it? Um, Hammer. Hammer or a donger. A donger? What are you, what are you doing? Just, just <laughs> well, that's the way we came in down here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Off you pop then. Off you pop. Let's go. Yeah, we're just saying we're the last ones to leave. I really want to go up here. Have you, do you know the story of these steps here? Round the back. I saw them earlier on. I was reading about them. The steps that go up round there onto the top of there and it's the daughters of like the kings and if they didn't give a, a male heir they would jump from there and smash the <laughs> I just <laughs> I don't know if you believe you or not sometimes you start off really well then you start laughing <laughs> It's because I can't think of any more story to tell you. <laughs> Once they've smashed the skull in, there's not really much it, further to go. But, <laughs> but yeah, it is good here. But it's just a shame. It's so touristy. I just would love it to be abandoned. I'd spend hours in here. Spend the night in here. Yeah, abandoned. Ex exactly. Right, we've just had an absolute nightmare. So we've just been filming the drone footage of the castle and it was going quite well. And then all of a sudden, it said low voltage, batteries low voltage. And I heard a clunk. It just went and clunked. And I think it's bounced off the roof and maybe fallen into that courtyard. Don't know what to do. We run the risk of getting in big trouble if we go back around there. Yeah, big, big trouble. It's whatever the drone's destroyed. Because if it hits that roof and falls into that courtyard... It's going to be smashed to bits. Yeah. I just looked down at my phone for a split and then I heard a... Yeah. And that, that was it. And look. Aircraft disconnected. I just don't know what to say or what to do. I don't I don't go back round to the castle and say, excuse me, can I have my drone back, please? Because the drone's fucked, clearly. Yeah. But it's the memory card. Because the the thing is, we've got some footage of... Um, prison. Prison, yeah. Oh, no. I don't think it's worth it. It's, it's going to be fucked anyway, isn't it? I know we've lost a bit of footage, but deer is getting arrested. Yeah, exactly. Because I, I do think it was a naughty move to... Oh, no. Sue's gonna kill us. It's not intentional, is it? I know it in and it, it weren't right. It weren't the fact that it didn't in fact I'm just gonna get rid of this a minute. Because if anybody comes driving round here. I'll put it in this car out right of way. I don't want anyone driving past looking for who it is that's been flying it, because we've just killed somebody inside the castle. I hope it don't fall on that table full of them glasses. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know whether it it's, it may have come down this side. But I don't think it has. I did. I I heard a a clunk, and I looked and up. I couldn't see. I it. didn't see anything. No. I think it's hit the far side of that thing because what it said was, it like normally it says coming home, and it'll come fly back to us, and we'll get it and we'll go. But it hasn't. It's just said landing. And I couldn't stop it landing. It just landed. And it landed on the pointy roof bit. Right, we need to get out of here. We yeah. need to get out of here quick because at the end of the day, we could potentially be up on charges. Right, so we've just got in the car. And as we did, two blokes came out of the building and started walking down towards us. But I don't think they were looking at us. They were just looking round. Yeah. We were in the car already, so... I think we've got away with it, but we've lost a drone. We've lost a like few hundred pound drone and the memory card. The memory card, I'm more bothered about the memory card yeah. because it's got 
the prison footage on. I'm gonna have to see if I can get in touch with anybody else that's been there and, and borrow some footage of the, like the drone footage from above it because I want you to see it. But anyway, just need to get out of it. Are you checking? Because I'm checking. I just really hope that's not hurt somebody or something terrible's happened yeah. inside. Yeah. I think it'll be lodged on a roof somewhere myself. Hopefully. Yeah. Because I didn't hear like bang, 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 bang as it fell down. Literally, I heard like a clunk, like yeah, it hit something. But I think it fall. Yeah. That was the only thing. That's it. And it wouldn't. I wouldn't mind if if it had been personal error. I I'd feel terrible for a start, but yeah. at least it wasn't anything I could have done. It was just, it just said low voltage and just disconnected or started to land and then disconnected. Anyway. Hello? Yeah, so I'm just giving you a quick call because I've just seen a drone hit the, one of the towers drone drone you know flies in the sky drone helicopter little drone yes hit the tower I'm just making sure nobody's been hurt okay Hello? Hi there. Yeah, I'm just ringing up because I've just seen a drone, a little helicopter drone, fly into the top of one of your towers and I was just worried that somebody had been hurt. No, it's not my drone. No, it's not mine. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. I was just worrying, that's all. Right, okay. Okay, thank you very much anyway. I was just I was worrying I didn't want anyone to have been hurt. But yeah, if I if I No, it's not mine. No. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank God. Thank God for that. It's got stuck on the so the bit below where that that big tower drops down, it's got like jammed on there so it's not gone all the way into the bottom. Thank fuck for that. I was so concerned about were you? Yeah. I have been like we've only just come a bit further up the road, haven't we? And I'm I'm worried. I'm worried that I've hurt someone because I I'd have to, I don't want to run away. Like we run away from police and things like that all the time, but it's it's nothing criminal. If I've hurt someone, I need we need to go back, but we haven't, it's just got jammed on the road. Stuck, is it? Thank God for that. My heart is pounding, I feel sick. So anyway. It was a good place, just a shame it now also has my drone on the roof. So we are droneless for the rest of the trip. But anyway, we'll see you soon. This is the last of our Romania main channel videos. There's still going to be a few more over on the second channel, Beep the Beef. If you've not subscribed, get over there and check that out. I want to say a massive thank you to every single person that's watched the Romania series and also on top of that a huge thank you to the Patreon members and if it wasn't for you guys we wouldn't even be able to go in the first place so thank you so much. See you soon back in the UK.